This is a vlog of how I set up my new shade structure this year. I struggle with being able to physically design things and I'm in a rental house and I don't have a truck. Come along because we make multiple trips to Lowe's and Home Depot and let's see how we figured out how to make this work. All right, so we're headed to Home Depot to get 10 foot T posts. Do you think this is gonna work? No, <laughs> maybe, wish us luck. It's the best chance we have. So yeah, come along with us. So Kayvon is hanging out with the hyacinths. He loves the bees and so maybe we'll catch him talking to the bees. Did you get one yet? Yeah. You see him? He likes to pet them. Oh, he's letting you. Oh yeah, they have lots of pollen on them. Mm -hmm. Went over to the tea post area and there was no 10 foot tea post, but it says online that they're here for pickup. They said it has no home listed on it, which means they probably have it in a bay in the back. So we're waiting to see if someone can get it for us. It was at this point I realized a 10 foot tea post is actually really big. Like a they glove. Yeah, they didn't have 550, so I hope this is all right. Is 550 a sturdier paracord? 550 is 550 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. How much is this one rated 60. for? Oh, that's close. <laughs> and it was the highest that's week. only 490 off. This will be fine. We're getting some looks, guys. But you know what? I think this is OSHA certified. Yeah, I think it's pretty. So this has been fun um, installing this pole into clay soil without a T-post hammer. Kayvon wanted to get a workout in though, so we decided we had to do it this way. <laughs> Not because we didn't have a choice or anything. Um, and so we're doing this to try to get it in the soil a little bit more, like it's obviously bending the thing. Okay, Vaughn, how was it hammering a 10-foot T-post into clay soil in Texas? Exhausting. It took forever. <laughs> you don't notice how much you haven't There's accomplished. There's no way, because if you look down at the base, you're going to fall. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just hammering away. You feel like you've made some, you know, improvement, and you you haven't. It's 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 the terrible. whole time it was me going. You're doing a great job yeah, up there, I, babe. You've gone an inch further. Yeah, I needed that. Uh, I needed that uh, <laughs> boost of motivation <laughs> because I was losing it pretty quickly. Yep. Okay, it took me literally forever, but I got the one and quarter inch corners. This is a one inch coupler, I think is the name, and then I'm grabbing a three quarter inch of conduit. We're gonna see how this works. Like I know it would work for a tomato drop trellis, but as kind of counterpoint for my shade cloth, here's the three quarter inch conduit that I chose and it is 10 feet long and we didn't feel like cutting it. So this is what we're going with. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Like Kayvon ties things really, really tight. I tie them just tight enough to actually not kill myself while driving. Ready, let's go. So as you can see here, I'm literally terrified, but the corner pieces of PVC and the conduit fit in perfectly. So it's time for me to hang my new brackets up to be able to connect a carabiner to paracord, which is gonna go to the uh, shade cloth. And I am scared of heights, so we're gonna do this real quick, knock it out, so let's go. These were surprisingly difficult to get drilled in, but they work. So that is what the bracket looks like. It goes in at four points. It's got a really nice sturdy ring on it. Now we had secured the shade cloth that I had, which was very old and you can see it has holes in it, but we did it to the fence and we tested it out and actually worked really well, but we want to make it more sturdy. All right, we got our secret weapon in. It's screw stakes. We'll be screwing this into the ground and then taking the paracord and some carabiners and running it into this. This is supposed to keep very heavy things from coming out of the ground. So let's go in solemn. And by let's, I mean cave on. Okay, I tried to do this on my own, but then I called in reinforcements, and look, he did such a great job. He made it look so easy. All right, we got the last of what I think we're going to need, some paracord. 110 pound weight capacity. I do not suggest anyone try to hang a shade cloth on a windy day by themselves on a ladder, but I did it, and it was terrifying, and trying to get it over the cattle panel trellis without shredding it like the other one. That sucked. But my design worked, and it's super sturdy. I'm going to be doing a second setup just like this right next to it because the way my sun sets, I'll show you. So the sun sets this way, as you can see from the shadows on everything. So at this time of day, 4.30, um, we've got shade over here, which is where the pumpkin patch is going to be. So we'll get another shade cloth hung up on that half, but for now, um, it's pretty sturdy. You can see it's very windy. This shade cloth is a little big. It's a little bit bigger than what I need, so you can see it's pretty 
ways back and forth, but I mean, it's up there. In one part of this video, you see us test setting up a shade cloth and it's got a lot of holes in it. It got shredded last year and it's literally one of the cheapest shade cloths on Amazon. It actually is a little bit closer to like 10 by 20 foot shade cloth. And the one that I finally put up at the end of this video seems to be bigger than 10 by 20 feet. And that makes it kind of floppy and a little bit heavier. Although it seems like it's a sturdier shade cloth, it actually is more difficult to hang. So that's something to note that if you can make to where your shade cloth does not get snagged on things, then you might wanna just get a cheaper one because it's not as heavy. And as long as you have a good system for setting it up, it could last you multiple seasons. I hope this video was helpful and I've put links to all the products that we've used in the description below. See you next time guys and remember, remember if you never grow you'll never know. Yes. And, and remember and remember if you never grow where am I looking? right there. Oh my bad. <laughs> and, and remember, remember if, if you, you never, never grow, grow you'll, you'll never, never know. know.